very fortunate since we've been milking cows since 1940 and with milk prices being cyclical like they always have been uh, in 2001 we had the internet sale and in 2003 we opened the ice cream store the dairy barn we did that with a lot of research uh, because we knew uh, we went to four states to learn about making uh, uh, processing milk or making ice cream and by the time we got through checking around, we knew we could do the ice cream. So in 2003, in October of 2003, we opened the dairy barn. Of course, like I said, it was a lot of research. Our business plan was about that thick. My wife equated it to having our fourth child because we did put a lot of work into it. But we went to the banker. He was fine. He said, you know, he said, I can understand what you're going to do. And with you going to Penn State and learning how to make ice cream, he said, I think it's going to work. And so we did that, and when I went to Penn State, what was really cool, the first day we were there, uh, the professor, he gets up, there's like 100 and over 100 people in the class, and he gets up, he says, I want everybody to tell me what you're here for and where you're from. Well, everybody gets up, there's a guy from Nestle, there's a guy from Briars, and they're talking about all the ice cream that they'd made and so on, and I'm feeling about this big. And so they finally come to me, and I'm not sure what I'm going to say, but finally I just, when it comes my turn, I get up and I say, my name is Carl Chaney, I'm from Bowling Green, Kentucky. Yesterday morning, I got up and milked my cows. And without those cows, none of you all have a job. And so I had a lot of response for that. That was cool. After the, after the two-week period, I knew I could make ice cream as good as anybody. We came back to the dairy barn. We'd already had some ideas of what we wanted to do. The farm tours was a no-brainer because we have to have advocates for agriculture because there's too much news that's put out here that are not from agricultural folks that really do not know the real truth. And so we felt like that it was important. So the first year we had 4,000 kids go through our school, our school tours. This last year in 2010 we had 8,000. This year has been the busiest spring that we've ever had. Um, I, I don't know where it's going. We're looking at possibly even building a new facility that will do just the farm tours. We also are doing motor coach tours. Senior citizens love to come out to the farm and see how things are being done now considering uh, there was one lady from North Carolina came in one day and she says when I found out that we were going to go to a farm a dairy farm she says I was like just leave me at home because she says every day from when I was a kid until I turned 13 I got up every morning and milked a cow and she came to me after it was over and she said you know it's a lot of fun to watch somebody else do it so the motor coaches with the senior citizens are an absolute blast uh, the farm tours are try to make uh, educational the motor coaches we try to make them entertaining and we tell family stories and so on and so forth. Another one of the things that we knew that we wanted to do was what we call ice cream and a movie. And of course that's M-O-O-O-O-O-V-I-E. We project, we put a screen up on the end of our barn on our ice cream store. We project a movie up there. They're only kids movies. That's all we do is just kids movies. And then we'll get people, we tell them, say bring your blankets, bring lounge chairs, come out, come out on the farm and watch a movie. At the beginning, we were having maybe 50 to 100 people on a night. Now it's not uncommon to have four to 500 people that will be coming out there and watching the movie on the side of the barn. Of course, now we've got them, so let's educate them a little bit. We have Miss Glimmer, our spokes cow. We have a video of her. We actually caught her speaking down at the farm one day. She had her hat on, and she talks to the people about coming out to the farm, about how she loves to be how she's milked twice a day, how she loves being on the farm, even shows her as a little baby calf jumping around. And then it actually shows people her being milked. It shows her as we're making the ice cream from the milk and so on and so forth. Uh, we also have just started last year, which has been a fan favorite, is Lee Greenwood's God Bless the USA. And it's, it's to the uh, combines going across the fields with American flags. And I mean, there'll be servicemen that will stand up and salute. People will put their hand on their heart. Some people even get a little emotional, but it is a tremendous thing. And these people now have got a little idea about what agriculture is all about. And if they see something on TV now, you know, I think they're gonna question it instead of believe whatever they heard. So we've been very fortunate. We've, we've grown quite a bit. Uh, and I'm, I'm interested to see what's gonna happen in the next few years.